again. Um, this time I am going to be talking about how to revamp and get your hair fresh again. Um, I actually got, bought this wig um, July 2015 for my birthday. I wanted something different for my hair. Um, I wanted like a sew-in or something, but I didn't want to spend a lot of money for it. And a lot of people that I found on YouTube, they actually wear wigs. Everyone wears wigs. Um, it's just something you can just pop on, go, and you can just switch it switch it up whenever you want to do it so I would wear this wig like for a month take a break wear my natural hair then I would come back and put this wig on and through throughout that time my hair started becoming like stringy and didn't look as cute as when I purchased the wig so I'm gonna insert what the wig looked like when I first got it here and this is what it looks like now um, because I like redid it and I wanted to bring it back to life. So what I did was I decided to shampoo my hair, this hair, like I would my normal hair. So I use Suave um, shampoo and conditioner and then I decided to do like a quick twist out. I don't know why I want to do a twist out, but I just want to give it like a different type of look. And then I decided to flexi rod the ends of my hair. And I'm going to insert like videos and clips at the end of this so you get to see what I'm talking about. Only the worthy shall survive. Ready? Um, because this is synthetic hair, I didn't get the the human hair because one I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on something that I didn't know if I was going to like but at the same time I wasn't going to buy something really cheap either um the wig that I purchased is equal yeah equal three-way lace part frontal it's a frontal lace wig so this is what it looks like so you can do like a middle part and two side parts or if you want to do like the little um, bun at the top you can do it because it's enough space for you to put a bun on top of your head if you want to and I did the little tweeze thing. I put um, concealer um, in my part to make it look as natural as possible. So again, I would wear my wig every so often. And because I would wear it, it would like get stringy and not look as thick and natural anymore. So I needed to do something. So because my hair was synthetic, um, it didn't I couldn't like curl it like I wanted to do it said you can flat iron it up to 400 I tried to but it didn't do right and um, so I was like I need to come up a new way so because my wig was synthetic it actually dried much faster but I didn't wear it right away so a couple days after I did it I decided to unravel one to see what it looked like and of course like you see it didn't um, create like a wave pattern like you would if you do a twist out for your hair but the results still came out good it actually created like a um, what you call this method um is this like the flyaway method I can't really think of the name right now this little wave in like each layer that's what it created when I brushed it out um, and that's what it looked like when I first purchased this hair so if you can see what she looks like it looks similar to it but the curls were actually more swoop oh yeah the swoop back effect like swoop backed so um, when I first um, was trying on this wig because I didn't want to order it because I was afraid that if I ordered it and I um, got it home, I opened the box and I'm not going to like it and my birthday was coming up soon. So I decided to go to this place called Beauty World, not Beauty, yeah, Beauty World, which was a big supplier of like wigs and stuff. So if you have like a little like wig space or something like in your town this one is a bigger supplier so I decided to go to that location try on different wigs to see what I like and I want to get something to look as natural as possible so I wasn't looking for bone straight hair I want to look like if I decide to straighten my natural hair which I am natural underneath this hair if you saw my previous videos I want to look like I straightened my hair I know my hair is not this long but I want to look like that so that was the effect I don't want it thin I wanted some body I want some thickness to it so that's what I was looking for and I didn't want to spend a lot of money but at the same time I wasn't trying to be cheap and the wigs there that was cheaper it looked cheap and I didn't want to have that cheap look this wig came up to be um 
$84. Yeah, this is $84. And I actually looked up the wigs, the equal wigs. They have really cute wigs online. And because I purchased this, I wouldn't mind buying something else from this company too online because I know what it looks like in person. So if you want to buy a wig and you never purchased a wig before, I would say recommend this wig first. Um, because if you're natural and you want to look natural, this is the best thing. And so when I went, I wanted to get another color. I was actually looking for like a highlight because my natural hair is actually, um, dyed like a, um, like a blonde at the tips. So I wanted that effect to make it look like, oh, I just, this is just my hair straightened, but they didn't have it, but I could have ordered it. But with wigs, they have to make it. And it takes like, I think they say like six to eight weeks or something. They had to contact like the supplier. And I'm like, I don't got time for this. My birthday is the same week and I needed it. So I just got this one. But other colors that they have are these. And I was looking for something like this, but again, I was afraid if I ordered it, even if I did have time, that I wasn't going to like the color. And it's synthetic, and I didn't know how synthetic hair work on hair dye, so I decided just get this. This is my natural hair color anyway, so decided to work with that. So again, like I said, it's a three. Um, wrong side. <laughs> It's a three-part wig, so I just tweezed it, and you can do middle, side parts, whatever, and I'm more so like a kind of like a side part, kind of in the middle, but yeah, it created so much body and so much bounce, and I'm going to insert like a, pull, a full like lip picture of what it looks like, and I'm really happy with the results, so if you purchase a wig, definitely think about this one, and if you decide to go with the synthetic hair, you can bring it back to life. Don't worry, it's not going to be flat. It's actually going to look better than what it looked like when you first got it. Not going to lie. I like this hair so much better now than I liked when I first purchased this wig. So, I hope you like these tips and I hope you use it on your hair or for your future hair. And let me know if you decide to get this brand and tag me in it. And don't forget to follow my other Instagrams and my Facebook page and all the links are down below. Have a great day. Bye.